were greeted and very grateful to see Putu Yudana. You can bet our first request was to stop immediately for some authentic Indonesia cuisine. Yudana didn't waste any time, nor did he disappoint us. Uma Sari restaurant is this amazing venue that has gazebos over the water. You sit at your own hut style table and dangle your feet over the water while beautiful koi fish swim below you. And don't let that price tag shock you. 14,175 Indonesia rupias is equivalent to only one American dollar. Carrie and I just got to uh, Ubud, Indonesia, and uh, we had a long flight from uh, Malaysia to here, about an hour drive from the airport, the Empazar. But when I tell you this place is total paradise, we are in the middle of the rainforest, nothing but monkeys, birds. It is paradise. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful, tranquil. Um, it's pretty much are going to be our serenity for the next week. <laughs> Yudana started our day with a tour of her traditional Balinese home. He explained the architectural layout and how they follow a strict way of living within the compound. This ensures that the family home is in harmony with the law of the cosmos of Balinese Hinduism. Many homes are a blend of Hindu and Buddhism beliefs. compounds are made up of several pavilions placed inside a walled courtyard and are very self-contained. This little guy made you feel even more at home and how could you not with his adorable smile? Oh, yeah. Are you smiling? Barong and Chris Dance is a battle between good and evil. Barong, the good spirit, takes form of a half shaggy dog, half lion. And the evil spirit is his opponent, the witch of Ragna. This non-narrative drama will have you fully entertained with colorful costumes, interpretive dancing, music, and good winning over evil. Copy is still young and we just wait until it changes to be red colored like this. We have two different kinds of coffee in Bali. One is uh, Arabica and the other one is the Robusta. I picked a little bit bean for you. This is the coffee bean when ready. And to process this, we must to open. Ah. And this is the bean and this is the peeling. When coffee has red color, we just pick from the tree. We open the skin and we dry the coffee. Next step, we are roasting the coffee. And then process to make coffee powder, we do it like this. Please, you can smell the coffee. The thing to get the coffee powder. Sorry, and this one is the comes out. This is a dropping from No way. Do they chew it? It's not, it looks like they just swallow it whole. They just swallow it Oh. <gasps> Look at him. This animal is nocturnal.
All right, we are at a coffee plantation, actually where they make the Luwak coffee. Luwak is a cat, and it's found here in Bali. And uh, we got a chance to drink um, a Luwak coffee. Uh, so this is how it's actually made. The Luwak swallows a co the coffee bean completely whole. And then from there, the, their body digests it and peels the, there's three layers to the bean. So the first layer is completely digested. And then they poop it out. Yes, they poop it out. And they collect the bean. And then they roast it. And then um, it is then peeled, where they get down to the bean. And it actually comes out smooth. Um, there's no bitter aftertaste, and it's, I drink my coffee completely with sugar and cream, and I'm drinking this black, and I mean, I've never had anything like it in the world, and uh, so cheers to uh, cat poop. <laughs> this is mangosteen tea, made from the mangosteen fruit here in Bali. Oh wow. Oh. Nobody wants any of this, right? Oh, it, just the aroma alone. <laughs> it actually tastes like um, you're actually eating the fruit itself. Right. Wow. Oh my god. Which one of is this? I'm sorry, vanilla coffee. It's unbelievable. Oh my god, I've never had an alcohol before. This, this, this thing is just. I can smell it from amazing. here. No, I can the smell it from here. The smell of vanilla coffee is just totally incredible. <laughs> How can we so support between, this life to the United States? I know. So, between the vanilla and the coconut, which one is your favorite? Both. Really? So we need to make uh, preparations to bring <laughs> extra baggage back to the United States. <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers. Yeah. First, first will be enter here asking permission to the spirit so Balinese will be come here first and asking permission excuse me I want to go inside please, please bless us Pura Tirta Ampul Pura is mean temple Tirta is holy water Ampul the spring holy water temple. The famous Jaba Tangia contained two purification pools and 30 water spouts that is believed to feed the pools with magical powers. It was nice to visit an active temple and actually see history come alive while watching people bathing and praying in a place that has continually been used for thousands of years. Uh, 
traditional rice terrace from Bali. And as you can see, uh, carrying the, uh, I don't know what I'm carrying. Oh, yeah, I thought it would be good. A booth art market is like your typical open air markets. Here you can find just about anything. If you've seen the movie Eat, Pray, Love, you would have recognized this place as one of the scenes where Julia Roberts strolled through the stalls shopping and bargaining. Durian fruit. Um, very weird smell. Texture is snotty, but very good, very good. The market is packed with foreign visitors searching for handcrafts and souvenirs to take home, while locals are bargaining for domestic essentials. We are on the, uh, the streets of Ubud. We just woke up really early, about 6.30 in the morning, and we have been uh, just walking around. Went to the uh, market square, and we've been shopping. Uh, this area is pretty amazing. A lot of uh, traditional Balinese culture, souvenirs. This is actually a really good place to uh, come shop and bring souvenirs back home. Abu Monkey Forest is a sanctuary with ancient temples with beautiful statues and a thick natural forest while you watch monkeys live in their natural habitat, free to roam and play. Hi, we're in the Monkey Forest. I don't know really how old this place is. I'm going to have to find out. Um, but I'm excited to see all the monkeys. We just walked in and immediately, um, <laughs> hi there. <laughs> we got one down here. Um, a monkey looks like a brand new baby, a newborn, and um, the family has been looking after it. And we had a couple of them <laughs> hanging out on a couple people's backpacks. I'm just watching this guy down here because I'm not really sure what he's gonna do. <laughs> we came at a time when they were cute new baby monkeys and a few had comedic personalities but don't let your guard down too easy there are several guidelines you should be always aware of all year round while visiting the monkeys Because we are in a natural environment, nature will happen. A little monkey business going on here. And it did. Oh my god. There was uh, we are in the uh, sacred monkey forest located in the middle of Ubud. Indonesia and uh, this place is amazing. It's like being in the movie Avatar. Uh, there's hundreds, hundreds of monkeys everywhere and uh, you just gotta be careful that they don't attack you, no eye contact. Uh, besides that, this place is just totally incredible. Enjoy.
Look at this. Ball keeps everywhere. Some of the statues here do have some sexual and erotic imagery to them. The explanation to the art is meant to satisfy the demons so they won't bring misfortune to the living. The sacred monkey forest was an experience we will never forget. Where we are going today? Okay, we will going to the jungle. Eh? Jungle. Uh, depending of uh, situation, I think will be nice going first the rice terrace. Okay. Rice terrace. This is get certificate by UNESCO protection by UNESCO there is monument of UNESCO later there and then after that we going to Ulundanu temple the beautiful temple stand up inside of the lake and then this temple was made about 400 years ago then continue to maybe lunch and after lunch we going to uh, the biggest, the beautiful one waterfall that we have in Bali that we call Sekumpul Waterfall okay, on the way if you see something nice for stop or take picture just let me know and also before we arrive in Sekumpul there is another jungle monkey they are everywhere around the road around the street they can, we can stop while there yeah. and then on the way, if you still have nice uh, have time, we can go to Royal Family Temple. Uh, that's our itinerary today. We can see today. Yati Lui, which is a UNESCO protected area. This is one of the most beautiful rice terraces in the world. And as you can see, you can judge for yourself to see how beautiful this place is. This place is completely gorgeous. Bali makes the top rice in the world coming out of this place right here. To us it stood out, hidden away in the quiet hills of Bali, peaceful and charming. beautiful and the breathe the weather it's just it's just such a change from Ubu to a couple thousand feet to where we are right now so uh, just go ahead and follow me and let's go uh, check something else out
This floating temple is located about 1,200 meters above sea level. Purua Yulun Danu Bharatan Temple is used for the offering ceremony to the Balinese water, lake, and river goddesses Dui Danu. This unique Balinese temple has lots to explore and is full of natural beauty. made it to the top via motorbikes and our company decided to walk up so we we're waiting it's pouring down rain it's still warm out it's a tropical it's a rainforest so it's not a surprise so we're just waiting to descend and go we'll see some amazing waterfalls in Bali hey we are here reporting from Bali we are actually uh, down the uh, volcano uh, it's either a uh, one hour walk or you can take a scooter with a professional Balinese driver all the way down. It only takes 10 minutes. So Carrie and I opted for the uh, scooter instead of walking an hour under this magnificent weather as you can see. So right now we're waiting for a guy and for Tim and Tony who decided to walk instead of use the, uh, the scooter service. So from here, we probably got another 10 minutes all the way to the waterfall, and that's supposed to be one of the biggest waterfalls in Bali. So uh, we just can't wait to get there, but uh, man, the rain, it's just, hey, this is the rainforest, it's pretty tough. It's gonna so happen. It's gonna happen, so uh, we'll be filming once we get to the waterfall. We came prepared though, got our ponchos. Hey, we got our ponchos, <laughs> we got everything, so uh, the weather's not gonna stop us. See you down there. We made it. How's Tony under How there? Doing? I don't see Tony under there. She's hiding. <laughs> What's the name of this waterfall? Skurpul. 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 Before you even see these magnificent falls, you can hear her mighty roar hundreds of feet away. But let me warn you, it isn't easy getting there. It does test the shape you're in, but well worth the effort. This is an adventure. Welcome to Bali. We just arrived at the waterfall called Skumpul. Skull Falls are the most amazing waterfalls in the Bali. It's a, uh, quite a challenge to get here, but it's just part of the effort. Trekking down to the falls? Well, there's no other way around it. Once we finally made it, it was time to take it all in. She is spectacular. Now that we made it down, we still have to go back up. <laughs> this is Gadet, and uh, he's the one I'm gonna be riding with. He is, how old are you right now? Huh? How old? 21. Adele is like uh, 21 years of age, and uh, I'm going to trust my life <laughs> with this kid on this 50cc scooter back to the top of the mountain.
Alfredo and I have traveled many parts of the world and experienced a lot of different things. But this trip, there were many firsts for us that we, as the Traveling Fearless, had. We crossed the equator together for the first time. I, unfortunately, got very, very ill on this trip. For the first time, we brought along two newbie Traveling Fearless companions. Got to see these two in a skirt. And by accident, we stumbled upon a cockfight. Although illegal, these gatherings are still socially significant in Bali and are an ancient Balinese tradition used in religious ceremonies as an offering to the gods. Bali is not only a beautiful island, it's also a cultural adventure. <laughs>